Is item level 872 armor even worth it? Or should everything just straight up be 925 or bust? My Blood Necro has the perfect item to explain that to you. We'll begin with jewelry and make our way then to armor and weapons because all of them are different in what they do. This is my 780 item power ring. Now, that doesn't sound really impressive because 925 is the max, but it has overpower damage, fizz damage, maximum life, and resource generation. All fantastic, right? But you'll notice one thing. The maximum life is at 1,120. And that is not the maximum it can go to. Because a 925 ring, or here to be precise, everything above item level 830, 831 can roll higher. So for rings, for jewelry in total, everything above 830 is perfect. Because from that point on, if we're comparing this straight away, this can have 1,310 life. So a high roll automatically would have 200 life more. The resource generation can actually not roll higher. That that's, that's the highest possible. 18.5 on a ring is where it goes. But when it comes down to critical strike chance, damage, lucky hit, all these things can roll slightly higher by some percentages. And the main also intriguing thing is that the resistance to all elements is higher. So here, item level is so important because I'm alone getting another 3.4% resistance to all elements plus in comparison to just having a lower item power ring. That being said, the 780 ring I was still wearing as I was actually clearing Uber Lilith tier 100s, the first levels of the Abu 12 Zier. So it's not like it's trash. Don't forget about it. But everything above 830 is kind of what you're looking for. But you don't have to go for 925 on jewelry because it doesn't make it better. And what about armor though? 925 is, it should be it, right? That That's absolutely true. Armor, when it comes down to the actual rolls, like total armor percentage, maximum life, and so on, has the same thing with the 830. So as soon as you're going over that, you can have the maximum amount of total armor, the maximum amount of maximum life. Now, the biggest difference on armor is the actual armor. This one has 1,622 as a 902 item power <gasps> item. If we're taking Solbron compared to that, it's 1,662 on 925. Now that's only 40 armor more. But considering that we're running total armor percentage rolls on at least two or not three items, that is another 25% plus, 25%, 25% plus, percent plus. Every little incremental bit of armor more pushes you towards that 13,000 or 15,000 armor cab to be able to do Abba 12 Zier or be comfortable in Nightmare Dungeons. Right now, the best comparison I have is my helmet, which is item level 799. Yes, it only has a 1,211 health roll. It could be 1,300. The total armor percentage could be 29.2, which is actually the same as a higher item, as you can see here. This one has 29.2 as well, so we're actually good. This one has the max roll there, but more life is possible, and it only has 1,030 armor. So here, a 925 helmet in comparison would be another 158 plus and that 158 plus times the 25 percent times the 25 percent of like the total armor percentage you have on your amulet and you have on your legs you have, yeah you're getting the drift it makes it vastly better and here you can see also the maximum of 1310 as possible so another 100 life more with also all your maximum life plus multipliers that you have with your gems matters as well where you're maxing out last two options weapons and offhands or more weapons if you're a barbarian for weapons, it's pretty simple. Max level. There, yeah. <laughs> a 925 over everything. Even if you have a 900 with perfect rolls on your overpower, overpower, critical strike, core skills, but whatever, vulnerable damage, damage over time, shadow damage, all your damage is multiplied from the base damage that your weapon has. So it starts with the base damage of your weapon, then your multipliers, then your damage while healthy, vulnerable crit bum, 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 bum. but the lower obviously your want damage is the lower your main weapon damage is the less damage you deal just as a comparison here a sword has nine points item power less and already 70 damage less in total per second well obviously swords also attack a bit slower ones have a big higher attack speed and swords have an intrinsic critical strike damage over intrinsic lucky hit chance but even if the sword had the perfect values happening I would still prefer the one as I want that to multiply the highest possible. 
And let's be real, 925 weapons are so easy to get. Just go into one Durio, just go into one world boss, and you have a 925 weapon. That's maybe talking then about itemization can be a bit stupid because it's way too easy to get the high weapons, right? For often, we have focus and shield. Focus is for damage per second more on top, right? And here comparing an 832 to a 925, that is a 600 damage per second less. Significant. Even if you have the perfect often, that is so beautiful because it has the lucky hit chance, the lucky hit chance while barrier and critical strike chance and damage reduction with shadow damage over time, whatever you're putting together there. The amount of damage you're losing to this is absolutely crazy. This is quite different to a shield though. And here we have again the 830 item breakpoint where afterwards it goes higher again. A shield does damage reduction, block chance, and plus 80% main hand weapon damage. But this plus 80% main hand weapon damage doesn't get lower with a shield. So this is an 842 item power shield right now. Same weapon damage, same block chance, same blocked damage reduction. The amount of thorns is lower, yes. And the amount of armor is lower, minimally though. Have to say that for a shield, if you want to play it as a necro, for example, you do or you are able to use a relatively low item power one with very good rolls without it feeling terrible. But let's be real, you never use a shield, you want the little as well. I've actually never put on a normal shield. But just if you're waiting for it, if you want the bonus defensive, if you want to move another defensive aspect there, it is an option. Don't worry about item power in that one all too much. This should probably answer your question, what's better, a max roll in stats or a max roll in item power? A combination of both. I mean, right now, I've been looking for most gear to hit around 900 item power, 890 to get the maximum armor rolls on my equipment. This is 8, 16, 22. And, you know, the perfect one has 40 more. But this has such a high total armor percentage that I couldn't find a different one. Plus the damage reduction while fortified, obviously, right? So the damage reduction while fortified high roll is better than having a 925 that has a way lower damage reduction roll, for example, or a way lower total armor percentage roll. So it's kind of like the combination of both things. Now a little trick to demonstrate at an 819 item power item. This has a max roll of 776 life, correct? And we're upgrading this two times. The maximum life roll already gets higher because you're moving past the item breaking point. As you can see, like we're, we're just pushing that maximum life higher and higher with every single upgrade, which ends us in total with a 1,310 max life because we just went past the item breaking point with the bonus item power, we went past the 830. Just to say that below 832 is not completely useless. Now, if you want to put this to good use, how about beating a tier 14 out of 12 zero with Necromancer? Or another 11 tips you probably never heard about. 